What's up YouTube, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys a tweak called Buddy Lock. Now what Buddy Lock allows you to do, as you can see as I tap my finger on the screen, you can see these applications all here that are all customizable. Now all these applications can be launched straight from the lock screen. Now you see this application over here on the far right, it doesn't look like an application, that's because it's not. It is a folder, so you can put more applications inside of that folder if you wish to. So here I have the calculator, the calendar, the game center, and the music application. And of course down here you have the camera application and the slide to unlock right here. You'll also notice that the font up here is different as well as the header has some transparency to it. Now there are some theming options here, so let's just go ahead and jump into the settings here and I'll show you exactly what all you can do with this tweak. So let's go ahead and slide down here, go to Buddy Lock. Now you have a kill switch right there and you can tap that on and off and there is no respring required so that's really nice. Now if we go right below that into the theming you can see that there are some themes for the actual buttons. So if we want to change the theme here we could just go to white, black, purple, red, aqua green or hot pink. Let's go ahead and go with purple for now and let's go to the opacity you can change that you can change the size of the icons you can change the margin this is for just the lock slider so let's go ahead and make the icons just a little bit smaller and let's lower the bar bottom margin so that's gonna make everything shift down now let's go ahead and look at the date header we'll change the date header we'll go with purple there we'll leave the opacity the same and here are the theme sidebars, which I'll get to in just a second. Now the theme status bar, that basically just means that the status bar is going to be theme as well. So we're going to go ahead and leave that on. And down here you have the date header text. So you can actually change the font. So let's go ahead and change it to Chalk Duster. Seems like a good one. And the font color, we'll change it to... We'll go crazy and go hot pink. Down here are the camera and unlock icons, so you can change the opacity of those, as well as the side margin if you want to do that. And last but not least, you have the opacity and the size of the app icons. We'll just make this just, just a little bit smaller, and we'll change the opacity to 0.6. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back. And just to start off with, I'll show you exactly what that did. You can see that it changed the font up here. It changed the background of the date header to that purple color, but it is transparent, so you can see that as well. You can see that this changed to purple, and it's square now, as well as the applications right here have some transparency to them. So let's go ahead and let's just open up an application straight from the lock screen just like that, just to show you that it does work. And let's go ahead and go back to the settings, because we got some more to look at. So down here is the lock screen apps. This is where you're going to choose all the applications that you want to use. So let's go ahead and change the first one to the activator, the second one to the camera. No, let's not do the camera. Our camera's already on there. We'll do the clock. Three, we'll do the compass. Four, we will do Cydia. And five. Now if you have the folder activated, the fifth application isn't going to show up. It's just going to show that folder. But we'll go ahead and set it to mail just for fun. Now let's go back. Now here's where you enable the folder. So if you wanted to turn it on, you would just turn it on just like that. And these are the applications that you're going to find inside of your folder. So we'll change that to the calendar. We'll change the second one to the app store. The third one to display recorder. And the fourth one to game center. Now here's an option down here that you can make the apps actually curve, so we'll turn that on just so you can see what it looks like. And now here's some extras down here, and I told you I was going to tell you about the side views. So if we tap on side views, you can see that you can change the right view to either your contacts, your playlists, or your widgets. So I have mine set to the contacts, so I'll show you what that does. And my left view is actually the widgets. I don't have any playlists, so it's not going to show anything up if I set it to that. So I'll show you the widgets and the contacts here. You also have some date header activations if you want to set those, and you also have some hide lock screen items if you want to set those as well, including the notifications down here. And if you want to be able to swipe away notifications, then you would just leave this little ticker right on. So when you get a notification, you can just swipe to the left, and it's going to swipe it away. So let's go ahead and look at our lock screen now and see what we've done to it. 
So you can see that they still have that transparency to them and all of these have changed because we set those differently and you can see it has a little bit of a curve there as well. Now if we go ahead and swipe from the left, these are the widgets that I told you about. So you have Bluetooth here, you have Wi-Fi, you have airplane mode, and you have notes right there. Now if we swipe from the right, let's go ahead and put that away, and then swipe from the right, you have your contact list here. So if I just wanted to call somebody from this, all I have to do is tap on somebody and it'll ask me if I want to call Bennett or if I want to call Karen. So it's actually a pretty useful tweak in terms of just being able to quick access your contacts, your widgets. So you can have Facebook and Twitter over here as well. I just don't have it installed on my device. Or even your playlist if you want to use it as that. So I can't say that I actually made this lock screen very pretty by customizing it with purple and pink and all that good stuff. But this is actually a really cool tweak and it's actually pretty helpful. I mean, it has some nice features to it that you haven't seen all before like the contact notification swiping in from the right I mean that's a pretty nice touch so let me know what you guys think about buddy lock in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and subscribe alright guys until next time this is Cody with iPhonehacks.com